Hello and welcome back to another episode. I will continue working on the front bumper design. As well as working on the front end, I will focus on getting the rear part of the car ready for installing the rear quarter panels, also the side skirts. I'll just catch you up on where I'm at with this development on the front bumper. With the basic structure in place I have to just key all of the areas that are too shiny. Once I've keyed the entirety of the front I can then start putting the filler on. been around 24 hours now since I put this first layer on I was a little concerned as to how flexible the current situation is as far as the new bumper shape goes um, 
I was a little worried that the filler might just crack off, but already it feels pretty strong. So I will carry on now. I will build this line up. I want to get this curve slightly further up. I want this plane to end level with the bottom of the grill. around the top of the bumper so if I get any resin or filler on there it'd be easy to remove. The reason I'm using clear tape is when I'm designing the front bumper as I'm going along I can see the overall size of the light. If I put tape across the bottom it can actually make it look quite small so that's why I'm using the clear tape. take advantage of this new design and make a ramp from the front of the bumper that goes up to the bottom of the grill so effectively it will catch air not throw it around the sides but it will scoop it up into the intercooler Now that I have established the basic shape, I just need to get all the angles that I want correct. So I want to level this out slightly and keep the curvature of this part flat. At the moment it's kind of curving down into the front bumper. So I'm going to level that out a bit and then I need to carry on with this, get a much nicer progressive line and then obviously blend it out to go flat back up around the side. Waiting for the filler to dry on the front, I may as well continue with preparation for bonding and fixing the rear quarter panels and the side skirts to the car. One of the first things I need to do is to check how far this polycarbonate window comes out to the seam around the edge of the window, so I know how much to trim off the quarter panel. So it pretty much comes up to the well, so it will be a nice join, it will be seamless from the original car body to the quarter panel because I can trim it almost flush with the curvature of that line. I have just started making the mount for the rear quarter panel at the lower part. I'm going to weld a piece of tube on either side. I will also make a bracket to hold the arch liner in on the outside. And then I'll just have a fixing point. It'll be a nice base to mount the rear quarter on. Thank you. 
thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and comment with any questions and I'll see you next week.